had a couple of questions recently. Um, one was, what's this piece for? And another one was, is it possible to make straight river hexes? Well, certainly it is. Um, this is a straight river hex with a bank on both sides, or a um, sort of single bank, which you could use for a wider river or a um, coastline or shore of a lake or something like that. Um, and yes, this is the piece which was used to make one of these straight river sections. Um, so to show you how to assemble it, because I realise I've not actually, it's all this is a fairly basic um, hex to make and they're actually showing you how to make it. Um, so it's worth having a, a video for it. Um, we'll assemble the toolkit to cut it using the top section of, um, of these side jigs. A couple of T-bar pins, um, put in with the bar at the bottom is important because the bars on the top here, although it would be nice to lock this down a bit better, um, it would overhang too much so when the hot wire comes past it would catch onto that top of the T-bar, the bar part of the T-bar pin. So we'll push these through as much as we can safely. That should do. Won't cut there. And I've mentioned this on some of my other um, videos on cutting river banks, but when you're, before you use these tools, it's less important for the straight ones, but it's always a good idea. It's just very lightly, lightly sand the edge here and here to make sure that the wire isn't going to cut in any of the fibres of the of the um, And you'll know when it's good enough because you run your finger on it and it feels smooth, which you won't do with so much of other surfaces. Right, um, here is a blank hex, 7.5mm deep, which I made earlier. Put that into place, um, and because there's, there's not very much holding it in there, it's a good idea just to put your something on to hold it. Your thumb maybe. Just be careful when you come through that you're not going to cut into your or burn your thumb. Safety first, kids. All right. Uh, and with all these river sections, river jigs, I've left a slight overhang. Deliberate overhang on the jigs so that the hot wire cutter you can lay against it before you start cutting, making sure you've got the right angle. Okay, that's it. Last holding in place. We'll cut along. Make sure it's running against both sides. Just drop that to save my hand. Uh, and that's okay. I do have a, I do have a slight slip there on it, so if I gouge a slight line there, that'll be easily filled in. Um, and because I'm planning to make one of these ones, I'll use the other side. Make sure when you're doing the other side that you don't do what I'm about to do here. You might think it doesn't matter, but you'll find it for the next step. When you stick gluing together, it's a lot easier if you cut it the same way up as you did the first one. That'll become obvious in a moment. Slip. So, just went slightly offline there, not sure what happened, but I can fix that easily enough. There we go. So, there's our two riverbanks, and we get another blank hex to put it on. See how they go on. So at this point, what I would do is um, apply some PVA glue, something like this, onto the base of this. 
So I put it in position. And the same the other one, put that in position. Now you're off cut. This is why it was important to get it in, to cut it sort of symmetrically. If, you, if I flip this over and cut it the other way, it'll end up with kind of a, a parallelogram cross section here, which is no use to you. But here we can put that in the space and um, then put something on top to weigh it down, something heavy on top like that, and that will weigh it down for you. Make sure that the pressure is pressure's applied evenly, including on the um, on the slope of the riverbank to get that glued down nicely. And then when it's dry, it'll just come off again. And then you can um, put a bit of filler into any gouges in the bank like that very quickly. Okay, so I've got how to cut a straight river section. And obviously, for one of these, just glue on one side.